Hello, in this MicroDB, I will introduce how to configure the Content Security Policy Header in IBM Content Navigator. In IBM Content Navigator, it is deployed with the ES API Web Application Firewall. The web, web Application Firewall is configured as a 7 filter in front of an all IBM Content Navigator web service. An XML policy file contains the rules for the firewall to enforce. These rules can range from simple virtual patching to complex authorization enforcement with BeanStrap script. The policy file for the firewall is stored in the IBM Content Navigator web application. The file name of the policy file is, in, is stored in install directory of IBM Content Navigator. Uh, for, for release, for release earlier than 308, the file name of the policy file is, is different with the version after after 3.0.8. To protect the web application from unknown security vulnerabilities, you can modify the policy file to add rules and block services. The default policy does not allow loading external resource unless HTTPS is used. It also does not allow IBM Content Navigator to be embedded in external hosts, even when HTTPS is used, which will prevent the IBM Navigator web parts from being loaded. You can use the Quantum policy file to remove these restrictions. And for, for version earlier than SN308, added web XML file to set a path to a customer policy with file. For example, for SN308 and later, use the configuration and deployment tools to set the policy option to custom and specify the path to a custom policy file. Steps, first open the profile using the IBM Content Navigator configuration and deployment tool. Select the config, config the IBM Content Navigator web application and edit the task. For the web application firewall policy option, specify default or custom. If you specify custom, you must enter the path of the web application policy file. Save your changes. Yeah, here is a screenshot. If you use the net customer, you must specify the <coughs> file path. After that, you need to use the IBM Content Navigator configuration and deployment tool to rebuild and redeploy the web application. Yeah, this is for how to verify the change uh, from web, web application server log. After restarting application server, search the file name, name from log file, then you can verify it's loaded, if it's loaded successfully. Here, it's, this, is the, this means the file is loaded. We need to check the path if it's corrected. And also here is an example for how to edit the customer policy file to configure the venue of all the content security policy header. For example, if you want to allow an external domain to embed ISIN appending the domain to the existing venue of the frame ancestor, this would be needed. Okay, I think that's all. For this, most for this microtv, thanks for.